Hello community! Today we learn about robot manipulation and we will use multimodal prompts for our AI system. I will tell you in a second what it is and we follow here this new attention agent that was developed by Stanford University in cooperation with NVIDIA. So, as you know, if we want to have the control over a robot arm, for example, we have a lot of task specification. We have a goal conditioning, we have some video demonstration, or we have simply some instruction in the natural human language. Now, since we are here at university, we have a clear definition. What is a multimodal prompt? A ordered sequence of arbitrarily interleaved text and images. And if you want to see a simple example, this is it here in the blue box. You see, this is our multimodal prompt rearrange the objects to this setup and then we have an image and then restore the state. So you can see here our robot arm is perfectly executing here the task given to him in our prompt. Or if you want to have here this prompt follow the motion for this particular sequence of images or a video sequence, you see our robot arm exactly performs the task that we want. So how is this possible? Well, there's this beautiful research paper, Vima, General Robot Manipulation with Multimodal Prompts, May 28, 2023 is the version I talk about. And if you have seen my last video about Palm E, about embodied AI for robotics, you might ask, hey, what is the difference between those two methods? Have a look at the video and then you will understand this text. So as you can see, we have a, a mixture of text and images and it works just great. And you wonder how has this system been trained? What is the architecture of this system? Last time it was a Palm E560 billion parameter model. And today we operate with something much smaller. Yeah, there's a lot of different multimodal prompts for task specification. This is all beautiful, but what I want to show you here, what they do here in their prompt token, they have three different prompt tokens. You have the text token here, an object token, and an action token. Now, text token is clear. This is the, the written word. Object token is also clear. And the action token is exactly what is the command. And as you can see, the system remembers the initial condition. It remembers the history where each object was positioned. And then it just creates here this prompt with its specific tokens. So let's have a look at this in more detail. There are six category of tasks here that the system was trained on. Simple object manipulation or manipulate objects to reach a goal configuration, a final configuration that was given with an image, for example. You have here a novel concept grounding where we have in the prompt, you have some imaginary words, but they are explained by in prompt images and you can use this new tokens here for your command chain. You have a one shot video imitation visual constraint satisfaction. And the most important thing here, or the most interesting part is, of course, visual reasoning. Require reasoning tasks such as appearance matching or visual memory. The training data set for Vima is rather large. For half here, for each task, we have 50,000 trajectories. And in total for this system, 650,000 trajectories have been used. As I told you, we have three formats here for the input. We have our simple text prompt. Then we have an image of a single object in our prompt, or we have the image of a complete tabletop scene here in this specific case of Vima. So this is the view from outside in or on the system. As I told you, we operate here with rather small LLMs. We have here a T5 system. So we have an encoder complete system with a decoder from Google. And you know, we have the word embedding, we have the word tokens for the images we use in CNN. And of course we have a vision transformer. So 
In principle, the configuration of our system is an LLM plus a vision transformer again. But this time here, we have a much smaller system architecture. And our prompt tokenization produces a sequence of interleaved textual and visual tokens, as I have shown you. Now, the interesting part, of course, is here this attention agent, Vima. And they, the authors of this study, propose here an effective multitask. And this is the interesting part. They say it doesn't make sense to learn a robot on one task and then on the second task and then on another one. No, let's do multitask at the same time. Multiple tasks are learned by a specific robot policy. Encoder, decoder architecture. Yes, we learn here the robot policy. And then there is this two two step approach. So at first we encode the multimodal prompts and we do this with a method I show you in a second. We have frozen pre-trained language model and then we decode, remember, encoder, decoder, we decode now the robot waypoint commands for the control of our robot arm conditioned by encoded prompts via cross attention layers, self attention, cross attention layers. You know this. So first uh, literature you have to know is here by DeepMind Multimodal Few Shot Learning with Frozen Language Models. I think this is about 2021, end of 2021, so almost two years ago. So very interesting study. This is the methodology here. If we're looking here to encode multimodal prompts via the Frozen Pretrend Language Model. And for the second part here, now for the robot controller, they say it's a challenging aspect of designing here multitask policy is to select a suitable conditioning mechanism. And it's conditioned on the prompt sequence by a series of cross-attention layers. And we compute here, as you know here, the softmax and cross-attention as we know it. But why we do it and how we do it is not explained. In this original paper, they just state that the Vima decoder consists of alternating cross-attention and self-attention layer. And they just state, we follow common practice, question mark, to map predicted action token to discretized poses of the robot arm. And I found out this is the documentation. This is the scientific publication. I personally am missing. This is here the common practice learning to act by watching unlabeled videos. This is, of course, by OpenAI, Baker OpenAI, June 23, 2022. And this is now the paper I have to read to understand why we use here the cross-attention mechanism to have here control of our robot controller and how we can here have a mapping of the prediction action token of Vima to the exact position of the exact poses of the robot arm to perform our action that is given in a multimodal prompt. So let's make you an interrupt. I have to read here this scientific publication. If you know it, great. If not, hey, why not take the chance? Have a look at this. And then we know exactly how Vima function and we understand how the robot controller with cross attention is able to perform here the multimodal prompt that are given as a task description. See you in my next video.